Hey everyone, in this Alien Start Descent Marine Classes Guide, I want to explain about the five classes of Marine that you can pick once your Marine becomes a level at which you can pick a class. So I can't remember whether it's level one or two or three, but when you've leveled them up enough, you will get a choice in the barracks on how to level them up when you promote the Marine. Um, so if we have a quick little look in my barracks, you can see um, different ones. So Vasquez I've got here is a gunner. I've got Hicks as a teka. I've got Sergeant. Uh, I've got a medic and then somewhere down here the one that I use the least but actually if I went and played the game again I would use more is the recon. Um, so what are those classes? Why are they important? Should you use them all or not? Can you get rid of some of them or you know how does it all work? So there's a, actually a really useful place for this on the command deck. If you look down bottom left you've got codex and for me that's left trigger that'd be L2 on the PlayStation and if you go all the way over to assistant what you should have in here Assuming you've unlocked classes, uh, you will have these things here. Marines 5 or 5, Sergeant, Medic, Gunner, Tekka and Recon. And I'm going to walk you through these and explain why they are useful. So you can read this, but I'm, I'm going to paraphrase it for you and explain why they are key. So the Sergeant is the most important, I think. So um, the reason for this is he really helps with the bravery of your team. And as you go through the game, it gets more and more gnarly. Uh, and your your squad gets more and more panicked and the sergeant is going to help them with their bravery so you can deal with more stressful situations. So the first thing you can see, special class attributes of the sergeant, charismatic. So as long as the marine with this attribute is alive, all marines in the squad get a bravery bonus. That is very, very important. Um, so the second thing I only realized uh, much later into the game, and I wish I'd seen it sooner, there's a special skill that you can get, uh, or rather that you can use in the skills menu when you're pausing the game or on slow-mo called Reprimand. And what this does is it prevents stress from increasing for the next 30 seconds. So if you're in a stressful situation with lots of aliens flying at you, turn the Reprimand on, it costs one command point, and then your Marines won't zoom up in stress for the next 30 seconds. So I was hitting that all of the time. Remember the command points automatically regenerate after a little while, so I was, you know, particularly on later levels, putting this on every 30 seconds just to keep that stress low and under control in uh, very stressful situations. The other thing you've got is encouraging speech. So when using the rest option, the squad stress is also re reduced by 100 points instead of 50 points. So if you've got a sergeant in there, that's really going to help when you rest to lower those stress levels and just get the rest of the squad nice and relaxed. Um, there's also various upgrades that you can get specific to the sergeant class. Like you can see here, the radio backpack. So that increases the maximum command point capacity by one for the first uh, radio backpack. There's also another um, thing here, the honor ribbons, which increases bravery by five. Um, but the Marine must have the charismatic attribute to equip this upgrade. And then the advanced radio backpack, as long as the Marine is alive, command points are regenerated 10 seconds faster. So you can see they make a big difference to the performance of your squad. So essential, in my opinion, is to have the Sergeant. So you can see the Sergeant is the perfect class to improve your combat abilities by providing more command points for managing the stress endured by the squad. So no brainer to have them, as you're going to see with most classes here. So let's move on to the medic. Um, so the medics, uh, obviously a key one as well, and um, they're important for keeping the squad in good shape. Um, and there's various different attributes here that can help with this. The first thing is the first aid instructor. instructor sorry, The duration of the healing interactions is reduced by 50%. That's really useful because there's often cases where you're getting smashed by aliens and being able to heal quickly can be the difference from uh, your marine surviving and your marine dying. So again, I think a medic is essential to have in your squad. The medical assistant, when the rest option is used after creating a shelter, all alive and conscious marines recover one health point. So again, that's really, really useful if you're slim on uh, med kits, you know, rest and at least you'll get a slight health boost there. Emergency Surgeon reduces recovery duration aboard the Otago by 30% for all Marines returning from a mission. That is surprisingly useful as well. So have a medic here and when you go back to the Otago, they're going to heal that bit quicker. Um, so 30% is nice to have. So there's also specific upgrades like we have with the Sergeant. There's the Reanimator Kit. Uh, that could be useful if you are getting smashed a lot. Um, this, if a Marine falls down in a coma rather than you have to carry them back and um, to the ARC or the APC later in the game, you can use the Reanimator kit. Uh, morphine, as long as the Marine with this upgrade is alive, Marine's stress decreases by 30 points when they are healed. So you get a slight boost of stress drop when the Marine gets healed by the medic. 
And combat drugs increases the health point of all Marines in the squad by one. Again, very, very useful. So again, pretty critical class member, I think. So the medic is the perfect asset if you want to ensure that your squad will return safely to the Otago. Again, with the sergeant, bear in mind, you can't uh, add all of these skills immediately. You may have to add some of them manually as you level up your medics. So, um, you know, as the classes progress, as you level them up, you'll be able to add more and more of these. So let's move on to the gunner. The gunner is the most recognizable of the Marines because of that awesome additional fire supports. The first thing it unlocks is the ability to use the M56 smart gun, which looks awesome. Um, so bear in mind, if you unlock a gunner, you also need to go to the workshop and unlock the uh, smart gun. And then you also then need to go to this particular Marine. Uh, if I remember at the end of here, I'll show you that and pick that as the primary weapon for them. Um, there's also other attributes here. Bone breaker increases the dismemberment chance of the Marine's primary weapon by 1%. Neither here nor there, but it's in there. Unleash hell is quite nice. Uh, the higher the Marine's stress step, the higher their firing rate. So they're quite an aggressive member of the squad. Again, very important member, I think. And then there's various upgrades. You've got the high impact rounds, which increases the slowing effect of suppressive fire for the whole squad. Advanced tracking system increases the Marine's accuracy on enemies targeted by kill that bastard which i use a lot <laughs> uh, and the interesting i didn't use this at all but there is the option with a tripod to allow the marine to deploy the m56 smart gun as an autonomous sentry and then what will happen he will use second or sorry he or she will use secondary weapons the marine must have the smart gun as their primary weapon to use this upgrade the gunner is great at facing numerous enemies with a smart gun in their hands and they can use suppressive fire to control several threats so that's a a skill that you've always got available but if you've got a gunner in the squad they're going to be able to suppress the alien onslaught a lot better than somebody say with a pulse rifle so again important class to have in my opinion um, so we move on to the Tekka again another important one so the most intelligent asset of the squad the Tekka is a resourceful and clever marine capable of hacking almost anything so things that they can do they can grant the sentry charge over charge interaction which improves the damage of a sentry gun um, this costs one tool so that's quite useful um, it will basically upgrade the sentry guns that can do suppressive fire and will um, basically keep those aliens more at bay than a standard um, sentry gun but it does cost one of the spanners to do it uh, they can also hack specific terminals so as you go through the game you will find some doors can only be opened by a tecker uh, and it costs one um, spanner often behind those doors you'll find some cool things like you may find some specific upgrades or maybe a sentry gun um, sometimes it give you easier access to a part of the map that would be much harder to get to or get from back from um, there again it uses a spanner to do that though um, there's also the robotic expert um, the marine can repair synthetics during a deployment and then get them back to the Otago if you get them back to the arc so that can be useful as well um, then you've got the tech class upgrades you've got the 450 recon drone um, and this is quite interesting it's a drone that you can use to perform specific interactions and follow orders one of the nicest things which i show in a separate video is you can get the drone to scout ahead for you and check everything is safe uh, you can also make the drone make noises to attract aliens towards it which can be useful for luring uh, aliens towards your marines or your sentry guns um, the other thing you can do like it says is battle drone you can upgrade the drone so it's got its own machine gun so it can act as a additional sort of bit of firepower there maybe not the most uh, fearsome of firepower but a little bit of firepower is always welcome uh, and it's also got the option to be a drone welder where the drone can weld or breach doors so that can be useful you can send it forward to do the welding uh, that can keep your marine safer in case an alien pops through the door and tackles the marine who's trying to weld the door um, so that's quite cool as well so again pretty important class now the headache you've got right at the start of the game is you start with a squad of four so you're like well if these are all important what about the fifth one man and this is the one where i primarily kept away from the recon but i can see the uses of it and i would like to go back and play it again but i went through the entire of my gameplay not really using the recon at all however I think there were numerous situations where it would have been useful. So by the time I completed the game, the infestation level was at five. It was very stressful. It was very difficult to complete. And the recon could have helped keep my squad uh, a lot safer uh, with a couple of the special modes that it's got in it. Um, so let's have a little look at this class. So the recon is the deadly master scout the squad relies on. These skillful Marines have multiple tools at their disposal to uncover terrain and deal with single targets. Recon class attributes, so the weapon training, the M42A3 sniper rifle. The Marine can equip the sniper rifle as a special weapon. 
So one thing to bear in mind, that is not their primary weapon, so they still go into battle with a pulse rifle. Um, but you can, in the skills menu, then access the sniper rifle and use that now and again. So we're going to talk about that in just a second. Um, fast deployment, as long as a marine with this attribute is alive, the squad movement speed is increased. The bonus is not cumulative. So if you've already got fast movement as one of the specific upgrades on one of your marines, this is not really going to go on top. You know, you can't have crazy fast marines going everywhere so but it does mean that you don't have to waste those perks on other uh, marines if you intend to use the uh, recon uh, in your squads and then you've got infiltration tactics enemy detection time is increased by 50 percent so i think this means that you'll see enemies 50 percent uh quicker um than you know if you don't have a recon in your in your um squad so the recon class upgrades, you've got the battle scanner. So this grants access to the scanner skill, which reveals the position of all moving entities on the current floor for 60 seconds. Could be used for, I mean, that's a heck of a range. Personally, I like to use the deployable motion trackers. If you're not using those to their fullest extent, have a little look at my other tutorials at the end of this video. Um, silencer, I think this is a huge thing. So the precision shot skill no longer generates noise. So that means you could take out an alien at distance often you see aliens uh, before they see you um, and sometimes they're in like a kind of stasis mode so you could take them out of distance rather than use something noisy like a grenade launcher a silenced precision shot would do the job and not get you detected which could be very very useful you've then got infrared goggles as long as a marine with this upgrade is alive every enemy within 10 meters of the squad is displayed could be useful as well so you can see perfect asset if you want to explore a location without being spotted by enemy entities so um, one thing you could do which i didn't do there is actually a um a, what you call it for a uh, achievement is send in one marine just to recon to scope out a map um, without anyone else and the recon is the perfect member to do that and you'll get an objective if you manage to pull them out safely. I think you might need to take it down a couple of enemies to get that achievement, I can't recall, uh, but that is quite cool. Um, so if we go back out of here, the last thing I just want to sum up with, um, so if we go with order of importance, I think really they are in that order. And if you look at the, um, where is it? There's a chain of command. It sort of suggests, um, although they put the recon higher so if you've not got a sergeant the one who's in charge is the medic then the teker then the recon then the gunner then the rookie personally i think the gunner is very very important I, I like them a lot i like them a lot um but you know i'd love to know what your favorite classes are what you've gone through the game with what you're intending to use through the game um, that would be cool as well so let's just go and have a quick little look at my marines so you can get an idea of what i worked on when i completed the game um, i've got some level 10 ones which is the top rank i've got gunners i've got vasquez i've got hudson i've got apone and as you can see i renamed my marines after the aliens cast which was pretty fun to do them like that you can get a, a vague look like them like this and uh, if you're interested in doing that have a little look at my other videos um, but you can see uh, we've got various upgrade slots that I can use and the common classes and stuff. So if I just move my camera down the bottom right, um, so we could upgrade Vasquez with various different things here. So as she's the gunner, we could add the advanced tracking system, the, um, that's the little tripod to display it on, um, the aiming sight, ammo bag, etc. So at level 10, uh, she can have five upgrades. She's also got all these common attributes here that you pick as you upgrade. So, t um, And you're free to pick whatever ones you think make sense. So one of the things that's quite unusual is you can add the smart ass attribute, which gives her the hack, uh, the hack interaction option. So I don't need to have a teka in my squad to hack terminals if uh, I'm wiped out there. Um, the other, you know, various different things here. And of course you can see the class stuff here, the M56 smart gun, etc. Um, talking of that, where we were saying that the gunner, you need to change the smart gun. So you can see there's the primary weapon on the left hand side. If I press A there, this is where I pick between the other things. So she doesn't have to use that. Uh, now she's level 10, she could use the plasma rifle. Um, but I need to go and buy that in the workshop. And I'm going to show you that just now, just so you see how that works, or heavy pulse rifle. But generally, the gunner is going to work with the smart gun. Um, so if we back out of there, I'll just go to the workshop. Hey, Need a and you can see there's the plasma rifle so i'm just just going to buy you that just to show you how you do it so you do exactly the same thing with a smart gun and then oh, you would man. go to uh the marine that you want to use down. it on so for example 
let's put the plasma rifle so she's now working with the plasma rifle but if I wanted to if I had unlocked the smart gun early on I'd go there you see it needs level three to be using the smart gun so that's what you need to do to do that um, so yeah the if we have a little look else who else we've got we've got Hudson as a medic um, so again we've got the various things here so now he's level 10 we've got this available upgrade slot uh, and you can see currently I've not got the reanimator kit but I could buy this now that's all set me back 30 resources um, or rather materials uh, so I could do that I could do the aiming site or the wider clip so some of these are specific to the class which you don't have to have unless you want to um, so we've got a pose a legend um, and you can see I've added the radio backpack the honor ribbons to increase this marines bravery uh, we've got one more that we could add here which I don't think there's anything else specific so but under the common, uh, I think it's here, the class, I've got the charismatic, the reprimand, which was the thing which I think is critical when you go into battle, that you can control the stress um, and the encouraging speech attribute. Um, so then I've got Higgs, I've got Frost. And like I say, the one that uh, I didn't really develop that much was Gorman. I put him into training in the training room because I and he's the recon class. Uh, so we have a little look here. Um, you can see the sniper rifle has to be assigned as a special weapon. You can't put it as the primary weapon uh, And that's the only class that can use it uh, So yeah, there you go. That's how classes work. Um, I hope that was useful to you if it was I would love a thumbs up, please any uh, comments much appreciated if you want more help with the game Have a little look at the rest of my tutorials. I've got loads of tutorials on aliens dark descent I think it's a brilliant game um, So hopefully they help you out and anything that I'm missing do let me know in a comment I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching